I have been getting tons of requests from you guys asking about the best web development courses on Coursera. So I dug into it, compared the content, instructors and teaching styles. And finally I have made a great video for you. My name is Daniel and today I will show you top 5 web development courses on Coursera. We will see what they are all about, how they differ, their advantages and disadvantages, student reviews and I will give you my feedback on each of them. So if you want to save time and money and simply make the right choice, here are the 5 best web development courses on Coursera. And guys, I will left all course related links in the description down below for your convenience. Feel free to check them out after watching this video. Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certificate And the very first course or rather certification program that we are going to talk about today is Frontend Developer Professional Certificate taught by Meta staff. Right now it's the top frontend development learning program on Coursera. At the moment it has over 200,000 students, almost 13,000 reviews and a rating of 4.7 out of 5. This professional certification program will take you 7 months to complete if you spend 6 hours a week to study. And guys, it's all about turning you into a successful front-end developer. It covers the tools and technologies you need to create modern and interactive projects. The goal is to equip you with the skills and knowledge essential for front-end development success. Who is it for? Now folks, one of the great thing about this certification program is that you don't need any prior experience to enroll. It will teach you all the basics of web development you need to start. But I would personally recommend reading some general information on front-end development and what it is. But guys, apart from that, it's really true that you don't need any prior preparation. Instructors Like many courses from Meta, this one is instructed by Meta staff. There are no names, but you can be sure that all the teachers you will learn from are experienced web development pros and educators. What will you learn? People, it's a great comprehensive front-end development program. And here are some of the things you will learn here. HTML, CSS and JavaScript, UI UX design, responsive web design, React.js, test-driven development, and of course there is much more. The core series focuses on JavaScript smoothly blending technical coding with the core of HTML and CSS. You also will get advanced training in UI UX design, and as a bonus, they introduce you to responsive web design with the latest tools for building versatile websites. What do I like about it? You know, folks, I think that what really makes this course stand out is how it covers both the technical and visual sides of becoming a skilled web developer. I love that it takes you from being a complete newbie in web development to someone who has a bunch of job-ready skills. During the capstone project, you actually get to build a web app. And you know what else is great about it? This course series helps you prepare for a coding interview. There are not many courses that do that. And you know how important it is to make sure you do well during the tech interviews. Student reviews. Ok, and now let me show you what students think about this certification program. Because I always look at students' feedback in my reviews. It gives a good idea what others think what a course is like. So guys, like I said, there are nearly 13,000 reviews. And as the rating of 4.7 out of 5 tells us, the majority of them are very positive. For example, you can find this review there. My academic and professional background is near known. I feel proud to have accomplished something like this from an esteemed company such as Meta. I have learned so much from this program and can now show this certification proudly. As I look to start a career where I truly wish to spend so much of my life. But guys, not all reviews are this glowing. Some students are complaining about the lack of practical tasks. That seems to be a common complaint about the last course in the series. And I am talking about preparing for the coding interview. And I think it's a totally valid complaint, because tech interviews tend to be very practical. By the way, I am going to make a video series on the preparation for the tech interviews on this channel, so stay tuned. Alright, let's move on to the next course on this list. Meta Backend Developer Certificate Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. People, this is another comprehensive certification program from Meta. 
Just like its sibling that I have just talked about, it's the most popular course in its niche. Now you might be wondering, why I call these programs siblings. There is a very simple reason for that. They have much in common. The first introductory courses in both programs are the same. And they share a couple of other courses as well. Besides, both courses are from Meta, so they use a very similar approach when it comes to teaching style. This certification program has almost 60,000 students enrolled, 4K reviews and a rating of 4.7 out of 5. I think that for a Coursera program these are decent numbers. All in all, it takes about 8 months if you study 6 hours a week. But of course, if you can spend more time to learn, you will finish it much sooner. The good news is it's self-paced, so you are the one to choose when to study. Who is it for? Just like the first certification program on this list, this one is for complete beginners. But I have to say, folks, I would personally recommend having some basic understanding of Python programming before enrolling. This may really help you to get through this course series faster and easier. Instructors. Again, guys, this is another Meta certification program. It's staffed by Meta staff on Coursera, a team of backend pros from Meta. What will you learn? This course series will help you learn everything you need as backend developer. Python basics and essential server-side programming skills using Django framework, version control, Git and GitHub, database design, API development, and finally web security. Honestly, folks, there is enough content to study for at least half a year. Besides, theory isn't everything you will learn here. You are supposed to apply both theoretical and practical knowledge in actual website development. Your level of skills gets judged through various assessments. And I think that some solid practical things like this is something that every course should have. What do I like about it? When it comes to web development, it's one of the top courses on Coursera. And this already says something. What else can I say? It has a lot of things that I like about this certification program. It's a great comprehensive program you can start as a complete beginner. It gives you some solid job-ready skills. And it has a serious practical side to it. Also, this certification program is more technical as it dives deep into the server-side programming. So, the practical assignments here are more intense and challenging compared to the previous certification program. Student reviews. So, that was my opinion. But what other students think about this learning program? And from what I could see, the majority of reviews are pretty positive here as well. There is, for example, this review. This course is really good. It has given me basic foundations of web development in advanced level. It has given me the platform where I am able to reproduce skills to advance my current role as software engineer. So, folks, you decide. Ok, let's move on to the certification program number 3. IBM Backend Development Professional Certificate. And guys, this is another backend development program. But this time it's from IBM, America's first ever tech giant. This IBM Backend Development Professional Certificate program covers everything you need to know about backend technologies. And by that I mean server-side programming, API development, web security and many other things. By the time you finish, you are expected to have the skills to design and create scalable, secure and efficient backend systems using IBM tools. In my opinion, guys, this course is a bit more difficult compared to Meta Backend Development course. Maybe that's why this certification program has only 7000 students and a rating of 4.7. One more thing, guys. It will take you longer to learn. About a year at the pace of 10 hours a week. Who is it for? Now, much like the two previous certification programs, this one is designed for beginners. However, I have looked at some feedback and course content, and I would personally recommend that you prepare for it before you enroll. Guys, don't get me wrong, I don't mean you should have a deep understanding of anything this program offers. I am just saying that some basic understanding of programming and web development basics can help you a lot. Instructors. Now, it's very usual for IBM courses to engage teams of professionals as instructors. There are 11 IBM experts teaching this certification program. And they are led by John Refreno, a top instructor on Coursera, senior technical staff member and DevOps champion at IBM. 
I have to say, one of the things that I like about IBM courses is their top-level professionals they choose to teach people. What will you learn? Guys, what I think you have to know is this is the program that takes teaching you some backend stuff seriously. It's a solid 10 courses program created to turn beginners into ready-to-work backend developers. During these courses, you will explore all kinds of tools and technologies like Linux scripting, Python, SQL, Django, Docker, and more. I think that what makes it special compared to meta courses is the bigger amount of knowledge and the focus on hands-on experience. Here you will build server-side systems crucial for today's web and mobile applications. Besides, there is no lack of practical projects that let you apply your skills in real-world situations. What do I like about it? Guys, there are several very important things that I like about this certification program. First, it's ok for beginners. Secondly, it covers a wide range of topics from software engineering to Python programming and cloud computing. Another great thing about it is that instructors are experienced IBM professionals. They deliver the content in a way that's easy to understand. They break down complex topics, making them accessible to learners at all levels. Personally, I think that the course's comprehensive approach and clear instruction make it a valuable resource for anyone stepping into backend development. Student reviews. Alright, now that you know what I think about it, let's look at the opinion students have. Based on what I have seen so far, it's getting its thumbs up from most students. They like the detailed lessons, clear teaching and hands-on tasks. But a few folks are saying it takes some time. And they wish there was more live help. Here is one of the 5 star reviews of this program. Every course has offered something interesting, challenging and surprising. I am glad I have spent the time with this class. I would strongly recommend it to others. Alright, moving on to the next one. IBM Full Stack Software Developer Professional Certificate. And the number 4 on this list is another certification program by IBM. Currently, it's by far the most popular full-stack development learning program on Coursera. 60k students have already enrolled in this certification program. It takes about 4 months if you spend just 10 hours a week learning. And again, it's totally beginner-friendly. Guys, the goal of this certification program to set you up for a job as a full-stack developer. Here you will be able to create your own cloud-based apps and die into the tech that powers them guided by IBM Pros. What's great about it is that you are boss of your time here. Take it at your own pace. There are 12 courses and each needs about 10 to 12 hours of your effort on average. If you aim for about one or one and a half course each month, you could wrap up the whole program in roughly 9 to 12 months. Who is it for? Folks, this professional certification program is open to everyone. Whenever you have a computer science degree or not. You don't need any programming or cloud skills beforehand. But here is the thing, guys. It helps if you're familiar with basic computer stuff like handling files, launching applications and other everyday tasks. But I think if you're watching this video, you probably already know how to do that. Instructors. Alright, let's talk about the people leading the way in this course. The IBM Skills Network team is the powerhouse behind this program. You have got 9 IBM experts in the mix, covering everything from web development and data science to software engineering and teaching. It's fantastic to see a team packed with real-world experience taking you through the program. They definitely know their stuff and that's a big plus. What will you learn? Guys, the IBM Full Stack Software Developer Professional Certificate is a package deal with 12 courses. It starts by diving into web development basics, tackling both front-end and back-end stuff like HTML, CSS, JavaScript and web frameworks. You will also get hands-on experience with cloud computing on the IBM Cloud Platform. The programming part focuses on Python and JavaScript, giving you a strong basics in these widely used languages. Plus, you will dig into software engineering principles. And all that wraps up by building your own full-stack application. Yes, guys, it's a comprehensive journey. What do I like about this core series? I have to say that there are a lot of things to like about this certification program, guys. It's very well organized and covers many things you need to know about full-stack development. It goes from cloud computing and web development to software engineering and creating applications. What's cool about it, it's also focused on heads-on projects. 
It lets put your skills in real war situations. And I always love to see this kind of solid practical side in the course. Also, guys, you should know that some stuff explained in this course series is pretty basic. So be prepared to read, explore and practice more stuff outside this program's content. Sure, it takes some dedication, but the payoffs are big. Moreover, having an IBM certification in your pocket can really boost your resume or your LinkedIn profile. I think all that makes it a smart move for anyone aiming to be a full-stack developer. Student Reviews Now, folks, let's check out what other students are saying about this professional certificate. And from what I have gathered, most people are giving it a thumbs up. They appreciate the dedicated lessons, heads-on projects and top-tier teaching. Many students noted it focus on real-world cases. They like getting into projects where they can really apply the skills they have learned. But, folks, of course it's not perfect. Some students feel like certain parts of the course could use a bit more depth and detailed explanations, which might be a bit challenging for beginners. For example, this review says, thought the coverage of content was on point, as the title suggests the full-stack experience. I like that final projects are peer-reviewed by real fellow students, which adds a touch of credibility. The course exercises and lab environments were hit and miss, reverting to working locally in some cases, and the quality and inconsistency in the task instructions were sometimes frustrating. Any doubts throughout the nine courses leading up to the final capstone project? Sure. But it felt worse the while in the end. The final project seemed significantly challenging yet ultimately a satisfying achievement. Alright, folks, and now let's look at the final certification program on my list. Web design for everybody, basics of web development and coding specialization. Guys, if you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up. It helps me keep creating content for you. Alright, guys, finally, last but not least, here is another Coursera web development certification program. In this case, it's brought to you by the University of Michigan. In terms of popularity, it's up there with Meta Frontend Developer and IBM Full Stack Software Developer. Because this specialization program has almost 300,000 students, nearly 25k reviews and a high rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars. And it doesn't look bad at all. Compared to other programs on this list, it's not huge. There are just 5 courses that will take you about 6 months or less to complete. Of course, it all depends on your skill level. The good news is, like all courses on this list, it's completely self-paced. So you can learn whenever you have time. Who is it for? People, I'm glad to say that this is another course that's completely suitable for beginners. In this case, you really don't need any prior experience. All the basic things like HTML, CSS and JavaScript programming will be explained to you in great detail. That's why it's likely you will be able to grasp them even if you know nothing about web development at the start of this certification program. Instructors Like I already said, this course is designed by the professionals at the University of Michigan. It's instructed by two experts Charles Russell Severance and Colleen Ben Land. Charles, also known as Dr. Chuck, is a clinical professor over at the University of Michigan School of Information. His job is teaching all sorts of tech-related stuff like programming, database design and web development. Colleen Van Land is a teaching professor at the University of Michigan School of Information too. Much like Dr. Chuck, she teaches all sorts of tech courses. From the basics of programming to diving into web development. What will you learn here? Now, like I said, guys, this specialization teaches you all things web development from scratch. It's like you go to guide for diving into web design and web development. You start by learning the basics of HTML5 and figuring out how to work with titles and text. Then you move to CSS3 to make your websites pretty with colors and fonts. And of course, you won't miss out on learning how to make your site all interactive using the magic of JavaScript language. So, by the end of this course series, you should be able to build a simple website. In a nutshell, this specialization walks you through the details of working with HTML5 and CSS3. Plus, it shows you how to build web experiences that are as interactive as they come thanks to JavaScript language. And here are some skills you will get in this course. Using JavaScript for web page interactivity. 
CSS3 basics, using document object model to tweak your web pages. And finally, responsive web design. And guys, I cannot say there is a lot more apart from this. Because this is very basic specialization program. And it's designed to explain and show web development to total newbies. Not more than that. Now you might ask, Daniel, what do you like about this program? Alright, here is what I think. If you already know some web development fundamentals, it's probably not for you. But if you are completely new to this and know nothing, this is one of the best introductory courses out there. I really love how good it is at explaining the fundamentals in a simple way. Besides, it lets you learn by doing. You even get to work on your own projects for your portfolio. And I think it's great. Student reviews. Ok, and finally, let's take a look at some student reviews. As I said earlier, this specialization program is rated highly. And that means that the majority of students are happy about it. Students like that it's so beginner-friendly and prize the teaching style. And here is one of the 5-star review, for example. This specialization gives opportunity to those who does not have any prior knowledge to web development, to learn from the very basics of the structure of the web. All little concepts are taught in the most comprehensive way. The instructor Dr. Colleen does the task so well. I overall enjoyed the course very much. Strongly recommend to everyone who wants to get started with web development. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about the best 5 web development specializations on Coursera. Guys, you will find all the links to these courses in the description down below. Also, I have done detailed reviews of all these courses on my channel. That's why if you want to learn more about them in more detail, feel free to check them out. As usually, don't forget to like this video, thanks for watching and till next time.